Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another video and it's like going to be a two-in-one kind of video. The first part is going to be a hair tutorial on how I get my curls like this, big fluffy bouncy curls that I've been wearing in a lot of my videos lately and a lot of you have been wanting a tutorial. So first is the tutorial, second is how I got my hair to be ombre, how I did it myself. It's not a tutorial, it's just basically a step-by-step -step, um, process and products that I use to get it. So disclaimer, disclaimer, there is no tutorial on how to get ombre hair. It's just telling you what I did because I did not film it. Sorry. So yeah, if you want to see either of those things, then just keep watching and hope you like it. This is my fantasy hair. It's one of my favorites. Um, so this is the color cappuccino and it matches um, my ombre hair really well. And I ordered these after I did my ombre, so I didn't have them right away, but I wanted my extensions, you know, to match. So that's a good color to match if you have, like, a light brown, like, caramel colored ombre. So I have ombre extensions that I did myself when I dyed my hair. And these are SKR, and I just bleached the ends. So um, I use a mixture of those, if you were wondering. So basically, the only thing you're going to need is a one and a half inch curling iron. This is one from Babelis or Babelis, however you want to say it, and I got it from FlatironExperts.com. Um, they have a lot of different sizes of these, but this one gives me the really big, loose waves that I like. Okay, so, anywho, you want to use a heat protectant. This is just from KQC, which you can get on Flatiron Experts as well. This isn't the protector I normally, whoa, normally use, but it's the only one I could find at the moment. So just spray it all into your hair. And I need to take this blazer off. Woo! Clothes are coming off. Yeah, it's strip show. Strip right now. Okay. Anyways, and then you just want to brush, brush, brush. And it's really, really quite simple, as you will soon find out. So basically, all you're going to do throughout your whole head is you're going to take your curling iron and you're going to grab a piece probably about this thickness, not too thick. Um, you're going to run through it once just to heat it up. Then I run through about halfway down, curl, open the barrel, curl, open the barrel, and do that till you've got all your ends in and then you just hold it. That's basically all you're going to do. So easy, a monkey could do it, but be freaking where, I swear. See, then you got to curl like that. Great. Um, beware, because you'll end up with a burn, just like that. And it's not going to be pretty, and it's going to hurt really bad. So just be careful, because I burnt myself. I don't even know how, if it was with this straightener, or if it was this, with this curling iron. But anyways, you have to be careful when you're using hot tools. So yeah, this is what we're going to do, and you really want to watch me do this for 20 minutes? <laughs> no, you don't! So I'm probably just going to speed this up really, really fast because it's the same thing, like, and it's repetitive, so I don't want to bore you guys to death, but that's just how you do it.
you guys wanted to see it's really easy as you just saw so anyways now I'm gonna talk about how I got my hair to be this color it's kind of a long story like I said when I initially first did my video when you guys saw my hair like this I wasn't trying to do ombre so basically what happened is I was trying to do burgundy and it came out black like the whole my whole head was black it was dark brown before but it was like jet black like a level one and that's not what I wanted so when your hair is black like if you color your hair black there's two ways that you can go about getting the black out you can either use a hair color stripper or you can use bleach and I have used a hair color stripper in the past I use color oops extra string it works really well but I could not find it anywhere near me so what I did is I picked up L'Oreal L'Oreal super blonde um, cream lightening kit and basically what that is is it's bleach it's pretty much all it is my whole head was completely black so I, and I didn't want like black roots like I know my roots probably look black on camera right now but they're just a brown color but it was really jet black so I didn't want to do that I didn't want to keep it that so if you have black hair and you want to do ombre you can either use a hair color stripper or you can use bleach so I put bleach all over my entire head because I wanted to get rid of that black pigment. Obviously, if you have, um, if you're cool with your hair color now and you don't want to mess with it, you don't have to put the bleach all over your head. So basically, what I did is I put the bleach all over my head, and my hair turned bright orange. And if you use a hair color stripper or if you use bleach and you're going from black, it's gonna turn orange. Like it's inevitable that's just what happened and then all over my head I used Clairol nice and easy medium natural brown or it was either medium natural brown or medium cool brown but I wanted something that would counteract the red I think it was medium cool brown um, and I put that all over my head including the ends so I then I what I had was a medium brown hair color and it had a little bit of a golden undertone because there was the orange red color underneath so then after that what I did is I took the Revlon Frost and Glow highlighting kit. You can get it at the drugstore. Again, that's pretty much like a bleaching kit. And then all I did, you mix it up together and with my gloves on, what I did is I went like this. I dipped my hands in the bleach and I just did this with the ends. Um, so I did that. I left it on for about... Um, 20 minutes and then I went back and added more bleach and added a little bit higher and then I waited probably um, another 10 minutes and then I rinsed it all off and that's pretty much all I did so to get rid of the brassiness and how I've been maintaining it after I did the ombre um, for shampoo I asked you guys for purple shampoo recommendations and a lot of you suggested this one. Um, I originally went to Ulta to get a Joyco one, but they were sold out of it. So um, I went with the next most popular recommendation, and that was this AG Cosmetics Sterling Silver Toning Shampoo. And as you can see, this to the top is like a violet color. So it's like a bluish purple. It's very pigmented, and basically um, that's what I use to shampoo. I leave it on for probably about two minutes when I'm in the shower. And as you can see, I think it's darkened it up a little bit, but I actually don't mind that at all. I like how it is now better than it was before. Um, so that's what I've been using um, to maintain it. And then obviously anytime you use bleach, it's going to dry your hair out. Um, my hair really doesn't feel that bad and I don't no like notice any um, 
extreme damage but it is drier so what I've been using with that is this Numi Pure Remedy Repair Mask. I love this. I had it in my November favorites. But um, that's pretty much all I did. I know that I should have filmed it happening but since it was like hair gone wrong I didn't film it because I was like I don't even know what's going to happen. And my hair was literally like this color. Like it was legitimately that color like can you imagine if I just left it like that and went on YouTube like hey guys look at my red hair my orange hair not there's anything wrong with being a ginger nothing against gingers out there I think it's a beautiful thing but anyways that's how I did my ombre that's how I get my curls to be like this and so a lot of you have been requesting both of those videos, so here it is. I hope you guys found it helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.